Hello, welcome to another episode of Painting with Mr. Kindergarten. Uh, just as kids learn how to read and write, they can also learn how to paint, and I'm here to show you how to do that. Today we're going to paint a flamingo. Now a flamingo is going to be a, a pink bird, of course, so we need pink, yellow, and black. Now if you don't have pink paint, the easy way to make it, of course, is with red and white. Now whenever you're mixing paints to make pink or make uh, light brown or whatever you're working on, always put the white paint first. Then put a couple drops of red or brown or whatever color you're making. Mix it up and see if it's the tint that you like. Because if you do it the other way around, you put the red paint in first, you're going to have to put a lot of white paint into it to make it pink. So it's easier the other way around. Start with the white paint and add a little bit of time until you get it to the right uh, color. So again, we're going to use pink and uh, yellow and black. We're going to start off with the pink. First of all, we're going to put our paper vertically. That means up and down. And then we're going to start off with the body of the flamingo. We're going to get our pink cape, not paint. We're going to put an oval right in the middle right there. Now, the great thing about painting is you're going to be teaching the kids lots of vocabulary words, letters, and shapes, and colors, and directionality, and all kinds of things like that. So right there, that is our oval. Now, to make the uh, flamingo's neck, we're going to start right about here. And we're going to make the letter S. Just like that, connect it with the body. For the head, a little circle right there. And make sure you leave a little room for the beak. We're going to put the beak on just a little bit later. Now the tail feathers for a flamingo, we're just going to flop down just like that. Just a few tail feathers right there. And we're done with the pink. We're going to put the pink aside right now. We're going to take out the yellow. Now with the yellow, we're going to first of all make our feet. First foot, we're going to do is we're going to start right here and make a leg one almost all the way down, leave a little bit of room for the feet. Then we're going to turn it into a number four, just like that. Now we're going to make the toes. We're going to go out that way, straight down, cross like that. Now this one's a little more complicated. We're going to slide down, straight across, and then slide straight up. Now since flamingos have webbed feet, we're going to put a little rainbow between each toe, just like that. And you might want to choose a smaller brush if you want to get more detail in there. Now we need to make the flamingo's beak. Now luckily for us, because we don't have a whole lot of room here, a flamingo's beak kind of bends down. So we're going to start right here. We're going to bend it down just like that. Go back up here and bend it down just like that. And it's going to look just like that. We're going to put the yellow side, take out the black. Now for the black, we do have a smaller brush because we're going to be doing some details. First of all, we're going to give our flamingo an eye so you can see what we're doing. Then you're going to get a little bit of black, and right there at the bottom, you're going to put like a W, some lines right there. The bottom of their beak, and I have some black right there. Now for the wings, we're just going to make the backwards number three. Now, you heard we did the letter S, we did number four, we did a backwards number three. Lots of different uh, letters and numbers you can use to paint different shapes. Now, if you have the flamingo going the other way, of course, you're going to get the number three the right way, but then you're going to have a backwards S and a backwards number four. So we figure we're going to have it going this way. We get the number uh, number four and the letter S that way. So that is our flamingo. Very easy painting for today. And thanks for watching. As always, if you have any suggestions, anything you want us to see, uh, you want to see us uh, paint, just uh, let us know. You can contact us at uh, um, facebook.com. Uh, slash Mr. Kindergarten, M-I-S-T-E-R-K-I-N-D-E-R-G-A-R-T-E-N, -E -E Mr. Kindergarten, or visit us at mrkindergarten.com. Uh, keep teaching with arts, and this is Mr. Kindergarten, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.